I wanted to say, have a good race. You were super fast yesterday, so really. I don't know if there's some more that we can do because, <laughs> I mean, we, are, we were going faster than the pros, so <laughs> I don't know. Thank you. You are fair. You're a really, really, really great driver. It's really a honor to fight with you. So, you too. Good job. Good race. Thank you. Vladimiros Tsiortsis, my number one opponent. If you think about it, I I've never introduced him to you. And to be honest, I've never had a chance to just sit down and chat with him. So I, I can say that I don't know him as a person, but I do know him as a driver. And I can tell you that he is a super great driver. Very fast, very consistent. I've never shaken his hand before on the grid because in our grids, we're always locked inside the car, except today. Today there were a lot of people, and they opened our grid to the public as well. And when I went to him, I saw a smiling guy who returned the compliments and gave me a hug. And it was nice, I saw a beautiful person in front of me. This is the most part that I want to tell you about. Tough guys on the track, good people outside. Now it's time for race 2. The stands are full. The atmosphere is charged. Sources having set the fastest lap time in race 1, even faster than the fastest pro, will start on pole. I will start second. And you really cannot pass here at the start. So I'll definitely have to attack during the race. managed to win two races in one weekend yet and what better place to do it than home 15 laps anything can happen My start was not that good, Sjorch is gained a bit of advantage on me, I have to recover. Let's try to see if I can do flat, the fast corner in the outside, let me see, whoa, 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 Sjorch lost it a bit, ah, damn, I made a mistake, I went on the grass and now Hedzemans passed me, I have to defend at least the podium, let's see what happens now in this corner, I will try in the outside, Hedzemans is still in the inside and Dubek passed me, oh, I can't believe it, what a disaster. Okay, let, let's just see how easy it is to overtake with these cars. Some people in the commentaries in the past races told me that these races are boring, probably because I was always in the first position. Let's see now if I can overtake. Let's try in the outside here. Wow, that was a great braking. I passed Dubek and I will try in Ezemans, but Ezemans has the advantage of the line. So let's see what happens now in the corner exit. Ezemans at first defends the inside, but now leaves the door open. I will try to go inside. Let me see how it goes in the break. Whoa, whoa, he closed on me. Come on. Oh, you can't close me like that. Ah, I just lost two positions more. Ha chiuso la porta in faccia, cazzo. È tutto sotto investigazione, è tutto sotto investigazione. Unbelievable. From bad to worse. Now I'm fourth again and Ciarchis is literally gone. This is called motor racing, there's nothing I can do about it, so now I will have to make a comeback. This is not the first comeback of my life, this is not going to be the last comeback of my life. In front of me now I have Pontinen, let's see if I can overtake him easily, because the next target will be Dubek. Let's go now inside the Curvone, the fastest corner in the trade truck. It's easy to lose the front, and whoa, he went wide, I can try to pass him now, he defends the inside, I will go in the outside, let's see how hard I can break, whoa, massive lock up. What a great overtake by that massive lockup! I don't care if the tire is wrecked, this is race 2, I just give my everything to try and win this race. But let's watch the replay. Pontinen just went a little bit wide at turn 3, that's going to slow him down, it's allowed on onto Nasca, around the outside, on the braking zone, big lockup from Nasca, he's going to run wide from that. Somehow he manages to stay on the circuit, Liam Hazemann. Perfetto così, perfetto così, vai vai vai, ce n'hai di più. I can see him, I have more, and I know this from race one. I am half a second faster than him, so I am at least half a second faster than the group in front of me. Now, Ciarcis is gone, so no chances for me to win. My only goal now is to pass those cars and get the second place at least. Ooh, 
I see Dubai's car smoking, probably the rear wheel is touching the fairing. And that is a good news. God, that, that front tire is really flattened. And every time I enter the fast corner, it, it starts to vibrate, so... I can't get the maximum grip. I'll just have to adapt to it. I know, I know. The problem is that when you have a flat spot, you keep locking up the tire on that flat spot in every braking. So it will get worse and worse and worse and there's nothing I can do if I want to push. Is that smoke up ahead? What is that? No, it's yours. I can't believe it. Tsiorchis blew the engine. No way. I swear, no way. I can't believe it. So now Dubek is first and I'm second. So if I pass Dubek, I will be the race leader. No way. No way. I'm sorry for Tsiorchis, but I must take this opportunity. Look how well I'm doing now. I'm faster than Dubek. I have more, a lot more. I just have to pass Dubek and run. Look at how much I'm losing here at the big corner. And that's because of the flat spot, but Never mind, I don't care. In the rest of the track, I'm faster. And I already identified his weak spot, which is the corner of Campagnano. He breaks very early there, so that's where I will try to attack him. Come on, come on, come on. Give me the slip string, give me the slip string. He defends the inside. I will try to go now in the inside. He's closest a bit. I will go in the outside. Let's see if I can pass here. Whoa! Where did I pass? In the outside! What a great take! <laughs> Resta lì, resta lì, dai, dai, dai. What have I done? What did I do in the outside? Man, can you believe it? Wow, and now head down and run away. Bravo così, bravo così. Interno. Oh, dai. Oh. What the hell is that? And why does he keep pushing me? I don't believe it! I don't believe it! I'm pissed like hell! My car is so fucked up, it's all crooked! I came back on track and I am seventh! from 1st to 7th, and Azimus is 1st alone. <laughs> really, I, I, I can't believe it. Boom, one down. I've got more and I have nine laps to go. Let's do it. I got him, I got him. It's really hard to 
drive like this because now the car is unbalanced. I have a flat spot. But anyway, I have more and I'm really, really, really pissed. You can't imagine how I feel inside the helmet. Dubek at least got a drive through, okay, but my race is destroyed. There, I will try the magic maneuver once again in the outside. My God, what am I doing in the outside here? Bravo, resta lì, resta lì. B5, dai, dai. Every single point counts, so I must pass all of them to get even one point more, which will be fundamental in the end of the championship. Resta in scia, poi ti stacchi e lo superi. Devi finire questa gara, prendi mille punti anche se arrivi in quella posizione. Right, let me remind you how the points work here. 40 points to the winner and then 35, 34, 33, 32, 31. As you can see, only the leader gets big difference, while all the other drivers get only one point per position. So finishing third or fourth doesn't really matter that much, but in the past many championships have been decided by one point, so every point counts. Meanwhile, let's review what happened there. I'm following Dubek's lead train coming to the Campagnano. He closed the inside, I jump in the outside, super hard and late braking. I enter the corner and don't ask me how I did it, but I closed an incredible and spectacular overtake. The best of my life, really. And it was beautiful to hear the applauses from the spotted platform. Wow. So at that point, I felt calm. I had the victory in my hand. I was just faster. So I said, okay, let's push, let's find their pace, and let's bring it home. We get to the hairpin, I see he's still there, but too far to try to overtake me. And I say, okay, I won't close the inside. But anyway, I close the inside a bit. And what does he do? <sighs> Kamikaze maneuver. I didn't even see him coming. And the thing is that he hit me so hard that we both went out. And my question is, if I wasn't there without me, how could he make the corner? And the crazy thing is that when we went outside, he kept accelerating, like pushing me. And as long as he was accelerating, I couldn't come back to the track. That's something I really don't understand, especially from an European champion like him. I understand that the YouTuber that comes here and starts to win the race may make people angry. I understand that. I understand that the overtake that I did a few corners before may be hard to accept. I know because in my life it happened that somebody overtook me like that, but it doesn't justify a maneuver like this. Se lo superi P3, se lo superi sei P3. Holy 
shit, I can't believe it. The same problem we had in qualifying came back again. Which doesn't make sense because in race one everything worked fine and now it doesn't. The thing is that it feels like the gasoline is not entering the engine. We don't know if it's due to the tank or the high temperatures or something else, we don't know. One thing that I see is that water temperature is above 120 Celsius, so probably Dubek's heat broke something. Il laterale della macchina è andato, quindi hai pochissima aerodinamica. Andata in mezzo al lobby di nuovo. Finisci la gara, finisci la gara. No Manu, it's not aerodynamics, it's something in the engine. I know, I know what I'm saying. And I don't know what to do, I'm trying to do my best to cool it down, but I can't. The only thing that would save me is a safety car. But every time I need it, it doesn't come out. devi fare un giro un po' più veloce devi fare un giro un po' più veloce perché la 50 ha preso 50 penalità no wait I can't believe it Edzemans who is leading he has a 10 seconds penalty so it means that if I pass the car in P2 I can win the race no way no way no way no way no way everything is happening in this race oh my god Okay, now the engine is working. I can take the slip frame and try to pass the car. Ah, no, 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 no. I went too wide. <sighs> Damn. Okay, let's redo everything. If only my car was okay, I would give you four qualifying laps, but it's just not working. Okay, I'll try again. Once again, he closes the inside. Once again, I will try in the outside. Ah, wide again. Once more, but I will not give up. I will try it again. Whoa, 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 whoa. he got stuck in the middle of the corner. Ah, I lost it. I'm really losing a lot of time here. Se hai problemi, vai, ma non andare al box, devi finire la gara. This time is good, this time is good. Like with Dubek, I will stay in the outside, take the long line, and then throttle. Oh, it's not pushing, it's not pushing. Why? Why? Ma resta lì, resta fuori, vai, 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 non rientrare mai, vai, vai, vai. Okay, it seems a replay of the previous lap. Let's see if it works this time. Nothing. I can't believe it. Always in the same corner, the car dies. I'm sorry to think that it's a fuel issue. I don't know. And now I also have to defend from Delso as well. Resisti solo questo giro, resisti, ultimo giro, vai! It's not pushing, it's not pushing, no, 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 it's not possible. 
If this were a movie or a TV series, this would be the moment where the spectator says, okay, it's over. And then, all of a sudden, the unthinkable happens. That deus ex machina that reshuffles the card on the table and turns the plot around in favor of the protagonist. But this is not Netflix. There is no director writing, this is just real life. Sometimes the impossible actually happens, sometimes it doesn't. Today is one of those days where it doesn't happen. Today, there is no happy end. Or, well, it actually depends on your point of view. Because manual team radio as across the finish line was almost more intense than a victory. Ah, yeah, bravo! Which was the opposite of mine, an outburst of anger and frustration. Tutta la gara senza il motore che va, vaffa! And what are you so happy about? Why are they clapping me when I get back to the pits? What have I done? I didn't win. I didn't catch up. I just lost a race that I already won. Well, that's true, but I fought like a lion. I never gave up, even with a busted side, even with a broken engine. I never gave up for one second. And not giving up allowed me to fight back from every setback and come back three times. I should be happy about what I've accomplished, but I can't be. Because today I did not lose because of a breakdown. I lost because someone acted without respect or fair play. That was really an inexplicable maneuver, followed by a sad silence. Because in two months, I have received neither an admission of guilt nor a message of apology. Nothing. More sports is like life. It's beautiful and wonderful, but it can also be unfair. Sometimes life is unfair, and we can't do anything about it. Today was unfair to Tsiorcis, and it was unfair to me. I'm still raising the red band of the leader high. Even though Edzeman's won, I'm still in the lead. I'm not smiling on the podium, I just don't have the strength for it. It will really take a long time to process what happened. Today you saw the two sides of respect. The number one opponent smiling and hugging me, and the defending champion kicking me out and never saying sorry. The beautiful thing is that in life, each of us can choose sides, and I chose to be on the side of respect.